Relations between Kenya and Somalia appear to be getting better already. Kenya welcomes warmly. After attending the new Somali president's inauguration last week, Uhuru Kenyatta has a deal to resume the hot trade. Kenya's agriculture minister, Peter Munya, was there for the presidential negotiation. He made the announcement in Meru, the center of the hot growers area. I want to underline the importance of the Somalia market because it was the most lucrative and served as the launching pad for cargo transit to the Horn of Africa, Middle East, and other countries. Farmajo was involved in the import of Mira from elsewhere, thus sidelining Kenya. And this breakthrough is a relief to this country, especially Mira farmers. The administration of Mohamed Farmajo picked diplomatic fights with Nairobi. This led to the ban, estimated to cost Kenyan farmers $200,000 a day. While all hot imports were stopped at the beginning of the pandemic, Eventually, Ethiopia was allowed to export to Somalia. Khat is a plant, a mild stimulant, that is frequently chewed. In 2014, the UK banned its import, labeling it a Class C drug. But it is a favorite among many in the Horn of Africa region and big business in the region. The deal is yet to be signed but it is expected to be within two weeks. And Munya and other Kenyan officials are telling farmers to be ready. We are taking the good news to our farmers to now prepare because the market will be open in two weeks. Kenya's Isiolo Airport will be another big beneficiary of the agreement. Most hot going to Somalia will originate from the small airfield, perhaps doubling their daily flights. An air agreement should be signed tomorrow at the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, EGAD meeting, currently ongoing in Nairobi. Experts expect that all the extra product will bring down prices in Somalia. That should make President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud popular with a significant portion of the population. ADN TV will continue to report on economic developments across Africa.